Hi, I'm Pete, and welcome to Just a Few Acres Farm. Well, the rain finally stopped, but everything is so soggy. I'm going out to check on the cattle. Titus, what have you been doing? You've been rubbing your head in the mud. Is that war paint? Hey, buddy. My gosh, you're covered. <laughs> I've been hearing a lot of that lately coming from the barn in Orden too. They know it's about time for them to have their annual battle. Howdy cows. How are you guys doing? Mm. Oh Patty. Mm. You guys always got complaints for me. Looks to me like it's time to move them off this field. Right little ones? It's time to move to a new buffet isn't it? If you remember, I moved them on to this five acre open field when I was having fence problems. And they've been on here now, well, ever since those fence videos. So I guess it's been two weeks and they've got it down where I'm gonna move them. I think that after the grass that they've trampled comes back up, they'll be able to graze it one more time this year, probably late, probably last field of the year. But I'm gonna move them up onto a small field now. Right, buddy? If I wanted them to, they could scrounge grass in here till it looked like a golf green, but I'd rather pull them off of it now. And I usually let them graze it real low, last thing after the frost, when the grass has kind of gone dormant. Then we can leave that for the winter. And I'm gonna move them on to this little, I don't know, it's two acres or a little less field that's kind of right behind our house. And here's the grove over here. They'll only be on here for, I don't know, three, four days at the most. I just gotta take down the gate here and then we'll be in business. I turn the fencer off because it is very, very hot. All right, it's time to call them in. Where'd your cows go? Come on, cows! What? They're ignoring me. Come on, cows! Come on, cows! Oh, Patty perked her head up. Here she comes. Come on, cows! <laughs> it's funny when mama cows run and their udder swings back and forth. Come on, cows! Here they come. Come on, cows! Well, let's go. Yeah, we can talk about it. <laughs> you too, Titus. Got your war paint on. <laughs> Let's go guys, come on, come on cows! And Titus? Yeah, I know. Yeah. You miss your buddy Orton, don't you? You wonder what he's doing. How many females he has with him. Oh yeah, that's right. Come on cows! Put your lollygagging. Come on! Come on, cows! Oh, he never gives it up. I don't dare tell him he's got a poopy butt either. He wouldn't like that very much. Come on, cows! Always gotta call him in a straight line and then work him around the corner. Come on, cows! Well, let's go, come on! Act like I'm bringing him into this pasture over here, which they're gonna graze later in the fall. Come on, cows! And then I'll zip them right back through that way. Now I ought to be able to pull them through. All right, guys, watch out. I fooled you guys. We're not going over there. We're going in here. Come on, cows. Now I can pull them back this way. Come on, cows. There you go, guys. Come on, cows. <laughs> I love working with cattle, getting to know how they'll behave. Yeah, new grass here. Look at that clover. Chomp that right up. Old Titus. You just want too much attention, you know? The cows won't normally eat down this field like they do our other fields, and I think one of the reasons is that it tastes different. This pasture was seeded, I'll bet you, it's got to be going on 20 years ago before we were actually farming. The whole farm for a while was planted in 
grass and they came and green chopped it. Well, they made haylage out of it. So there is alfalfa in here. And this is how I first discovered that chickens like alfalfa so much because this was the first field we ran them on when we started. It's got some clover in it. And then I'm not sure what the long, the long blade grasses are, but they don't like them as much. And I found that when I buy hay too, if they get off the species that they're used to on pasture, they're not as happy with them. And this field's also a good example of why I choose to make hay off of my pastures in rotation. This field was fairly heavily grazed for about five years. I mowed this twice this year and made hay out of it, and you can see what's coming up now. If you keep the weeds down, the grasses will sort of get denser because they do well under shorter conditions, and they'll start to crowd out the weeds, and that's what's happened with this field. So I'll, I'll probably leave it in hay next year, and, pro and I'll get rid of a lot of this stuff that had been growing in it. And, to me, I mean, making hay is just a regular part of keeping your pasture healthy. Yes, you can clip it, but having all that go on the ground, it's not as efficient to me as taking it and making hay out of it. Oh, there's mom. There's your calf over there. Calves still haven't quite figured it out. Before I fixed the fence, they would have probably just gone right through it, but now they're a little bit more hesitant. I don't blame them. Since I started making hay off the field this year, this things like the alfalfa have come back in great. It just gives them a fighting chance instead of being crowded out by weeds. It really is starting to look good. No better place to be, right? Well, you made it in, little one. You're smarter than the average calf. See how furry she is? They're already starting to get their winter coats. I have a part B to my cattle plan today, and I guess it's time to implement it. Before I proceed with part B, I wanted to see if I can chase these little buggers down the fence line, get them in with their moms, so I can close up this field. Very small percentage chance that I can do that, but we'll give it a try. All right, guys. Let's move it on up. They're gonna be reluctant to leave the mass of cows on this side of the fence. Come on, guys. Let's go. Well, at least the herd's moving with them. No, don't wander out there. Stay on the fence line. Come on, you. What are you doing? You're too young to be messing around that way. Come on. Come on, you little goof. All right, you're almost there. You're gonna figure it out pretty soon. Come on, guys. Make it around the corner here, through the mud. Look at that. You guys figured it out with a little help. There you go. In with the rest of them. Then I can head back and turn the fence back on. And next, I can give these guys in the barn a little surprise. Oh, I just gotta open this gate here. All right, Orton. Oh my gosh. Do you wanna go out? Okay, let's open the gate. There you go, bud. You guys can go too, all of you. Gotta go chase out the little ones. Come on, little one. Let's go outside. Go with mom. There you go, guys. Come on outside. So now they're in the winter pasture. Oh, I scared them. The rest of the herd is over beyond the barn over there. But I'm not done yet. These guys know something's up. Well, let's open up the gate. All right, Coco, move it. There they go. Uh-oh. There's Orton. There's Titus. Well, let's see what the two bulls do here. Titus is putting on a show. But this is Orton's home turf. Everybody else is coming to see. Here they go. Oh. 
Hello, old friend. We meet again on the field of battle. They're just warming up. Everybody's headbutting. See the cows over there are doing it. They've got to reestablish their pecking order. Ooh. Ooh. I think they're still just kind of testing each other out. You know? It's getting rougher. Wow. Ooh. Break time. Break time again? You guys are getting old. These guys are at it too. Jeez, this is like a mob fight. You guys got to sort it out. Every year this happens, we keep two bulls, and I know it's a small herd for two bulls. We only have 34 head right now. But Dexters are not something I go around the corner and find a new bull for. And finding a good bull, well, that's even tougher. AI hasn't worked for us, so we've decided to keep two bulls. It's cheaper for us still to keep two bulls than to buy Dexter semen and do AI. It costs us about 40 bucks a straw for semen. So. This time of year, they've been separated for four and a half weeks for breeding season. We separate out the herd, we choose which cows to go with which bull, and we put them into two separate herds. Well, today they're coming back together, and they have to reestablish, just like all the other animals in the herd do, who's dominant. You guys are goofy. You're running around in circles. The ladies can get rough too. That is a weird battle position right there. These bulls will go at it until one gets too tired to fight anymore and he'll sulk off into another field. Every year until now, it's been Orton, the, the brown bull. Titus is just older, and he's got the tricks more than Orton does, I guess. And Orton will be down for a couple weeks if he loses. I don't know what will happen if Titus loses, because he's never lost before. Believe it or not, even though they have this kind of jousting match here, they will settle their differences and get along just fine. They're together almost all the year. And they get along well as two bulls, but when you add females in like we have now, this is what happens. They're really getting into it. In the end, the winner's decided by whoever pushes the other one backwards more. You guys, everyone is excited. This is their biggest match of the year, but it's not their only match of the year. Once in a while, they'll just test each other. They'll have these, not, not as big as this one, but they need to sort of reaffirm who's dominant between the two of them. And the cattle, the cows, the yearlings, they do the same thing. Will either of these bulls get hurt? No, they won't. I, Bulls can get a lot worse than this. If, you, if these guys had horns, if they were bigger bulls, these are small bulls, they could hurt each other, that's for sure, but these guys have never hurt each other. The worst injury anybody's ever had is Orton. Orton's got a lump right here on his head, and it'll get a little red from all the headbutting. But no broken legs, no lameness, just exhaustion when they're done.
Oh. That's a good one for Orden. Score one. Am I nervous one of these bulls is gonna come after me? No. <laughs> there couldn't be anything further from their mind than each other. That's all they care about right now. I just have to stay clear enough that one of them doesn't get pushed into me, that's all. Man, Titus got him good that time. Orton's definitely on the losing end of this match so far. This is exactly what happens in nature with animals up and down the line. They don't have to be in a farm to exhibit this behavior. There's always a pecking order, no matter the animal. Pigs, chickens, turkeys, yes, even turkeys, cattle. They'll all establish who's dominant, and in the end, it's what keeps things peaceful when everybody knows their place. They are really winded. Meanwhile, the rest of the cattle are saying, well, enough of this. I'm going back out to the new pasture. Mom and little one. Oh, now Orton's got a crisis poop. You know, you gotta get rid of that extra weight. Mm. Oh. Well, I don't think there's any question of the way this is going to go. Titus is clearly dominant. But I feel bad for Orden in a way. To always be second fiddle. Oh. I'm going to leave these guys to it. And I'll come back and check on them in an hour or two. It's been a couple hours, so let's go see if we can tell who won the bull battle. Well, there's all the cows. Where are the bulls? Somehow, Orden's gotten way down into the lower pasture. He must have broke through the gate. Huh. All by himself, though. Oh, he didn't break through a fence. This gate has been left open since I moved the cattle out of here. He just came down here to be by himself, I guess. Come on, Orden. Come on, buddy. It's pretty clear that he lost the battle because he's all down here by himself, pouting and... Titus is actually up with the cattle way up top. Poor Orden, he is not happy. I feel bad for him, but that's the way it works. There can only be one boss. Orden. Come here, buddy. Sorry, I know, I'm sorry. He's obviously upset. I think I'm just gonna leave this field open so he has some space to get better, I guess. I don't know. Don't worry, in a few days, things will be back to normal. The herd will have settled all of their differences and have their new pecking order in line. Orden will be back with the group. So, that's just the way it goes. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.